have a force gauge here. Uh, this goes up to 500 newtons, which is uh, about 130 pounds, I believe. And right now it's at the peak. I'm going to lean my body into it on the edge of this table. And I'm pushing real hard, as hard as I can get. So I can get about 75 pounds of force on it. I had the force gauge on uh, just some 80-20 extrusion. Just stressing it here. And I'm going to run it into the column uh, and record, this is set on peak, uh, what the force is. And right now I'm using the stepper motor that I bought 15 years ago and I believe this is a 269 ounce inch stepper motor. Uh, whatever was popular at the time with the Xylotex control. Uh, I think the motors and the, the Xylotex box was about $500 15 years ago. And after I do that, I'm going to compare it to the uh, IHSV 57 JMC uh, servo motor at 100 watts and see how they do. So I'm going to run it at 2 inches per minute, which for this is a 5% jog. And then I'm going to jump up to... Uh, 20% jog, which for this is 8 inches per minute. So I'll try to have the same settings, the same speed on uh, both the supper setup and the servo setup when I switch it over. Actually, I'm going to put it on Newtons because I know 500 is the max for Newtons. Okay, let's try that again. On Newtons, 500 is the max. And we're at uh, 2 inches per minute. So I exceeded the limit of the meter. Uh, I got up to 597. I'll try that one more time. I think the steppers did skip. Yeah, did you hear them skip? So somewhere around 600, they skipped. The stepper motor is supposed to have the, its greatest torque at the slowest speed. So let's switch this to 20% uh, which is the 8 inches per minute. Okay, now we're at 100% jog which for the stepper is 40 inches per minute. Okay, you ready? Okay, so now we skipped steps and we didn't exceed the meter, so 476 newtons. Let's try that again. Five twelve newtons. Five forty newtons. Four sixty newtons. Four sixty newtons. Four ninety newtons. So it looks like at 40 inches per minute, which is the maximum for my stepper system, uh, we can get 400 and about 460 to 490 newtons of force before the system loses steps. I took the stepper motor off and now I put the JMC servo motor on the Y axis and I'm going to repeat the same test. And now I'm running uh, UCCNC uh, through this set up here and I have the speed set at two inches per minute okay I'm right at the beginning this is actually my very first run I don't know what's gonna happen it's on Newton's here we go
So the servo just alarmed out at 215 newtons. Let me check that. Yeah, sorry it's upside down, but you can see the alarm flashing. So 213 newtons. Set to peak. Two hundred and twenty six newtons, and here we have the alarm out. Speed is now set to eight inches per minute for the second test. We're on Newton's peak, I'm about a quarter of an inch away, eight inches per minute. Here we go 381, and I got the alarm out. And trial at eight inches per minute. About a half an inch away. Four hundred and six newtons, and we have the alarm out. Now we're set at forty inches per minute. So it it overpowered the meter. So six hundred and thirty-three newtons before the alarm of the meter and actually oh yeah it did alarm out also second trial at uh, 40 inches per minute about half an inch away or an inch away here we go 669 and alarm out again I'm going to change one setting on the motors, the torque limit. Right, now, The factory default is 200 in both directions. I'm going to change it to 300, which is the max. Okay, now, now the motor will limit higher on the torque limit. So let's repeat, uh, let's repeat the lower test at 2 inches per minute because that was the weakest. Okay, I'm back at 2 inches per minute and I have the torque set to 300. Oh, we did, and my uh, my servo spun out. So we got up to 473, and I alarmed out on the servo, didn't max out the meter, but I think that's about double where we were before. I have to check. Torque set to 300 on the servo, second trial. Four sixty-three. And I got the alarm on the servo.